Carbon City since 92. I think that's 31 years, and it's done. Dennis Collins is not new in the automotive industry. You all might already know him for his appearance on Fast and Loud alongside his friend Richard Rawling. But today, we're going to tell you the story of Dennis Collins and discuss all the rumors about him. Do you know what happened to him or what he's doing now? Watch this video until the end to know the latest details on Dennis Collins. Dennis Collins is a successful car dealer and has a great car collection. He's also worked on the Gas Monkey Garage, but somehow he's known for his appearance on Fast and Loud. Some also say that his introduction to show business started because of his best friend and automotive superstar Richard Rawling. Anyhow, after his TV appearance, he opened his YouTube channel. Dennis's love for cars did not grow overnight. Since he was a child, he shared an interest in Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. But when it came to his studies, he earned a degree in economy and finance. With his passion for cars and his knowledge of the economy and finance, he became a successful automotive entrepreneur. In 1984, he launched the Collinsbro Jeep. Here, Dennis provides restoration and custom built. The Collinsbro is the most active and acclaimed restoration shop in the entire US. Being a smart entrepreneur, he didn't stop there. In 2000, he opened another shop, Black Mountain. It's a Jeep-specific manufacturing and restoration shop. This venture made his name globally in the Jeep community. His Jeep service and facilities are spread across 15 states in the US. With exceptional growth in the auto vehicle community, he's broken and made history. One such time was in 2017, when he attended the Barrett Jackson auction in Scotland, Arizona. He sold six Mustangs at unimaginable prices. With a successful career, he also has a beautiful family. He's been married to his wife, Kim, since 1993. They both have built themselves a family of children and grandchildren. His life was going perfectly when suddenly his son Derek lost his life. This news spread like wildfire. Why wouldn't it? His death was so sudden and surprising for everyone. Derek passed away July 2nd, 2019, at the age of 29. He left behind his daughters and his loving family. He was following his father's footprint by being the manager of the Collinsboro Jeep. His death caused serious damage to his family and friends. It brought out a lot of pent-up emotion in the family. Upon his death, Dennis also confessed how much he regrets not giving time to his children when they were teenagers and he was out there making his career. His death brought a great impact in Dennis's life. It left a void in his heart forever. Having to experience such a tragedy always leaves a gut-wrenching pain forever. Derek's death, with sympathy, also brought speculation. The cause of his death was not made public, which left room for speculation and rumours. Some believed it was due to a car accident, on the other hand, some believed it was due to some heart condition. We cannot say anything about this until the family opens up and talks about it. Although after going through such loss, Dennis found his work as a way to cope with the pain. He still runs both his business as well as his YouTube channel. He posts a new episode every Friday. He joined YouTube in 2016 and has gotten over 553,000 subscribers by far. He makes content about cars like DIY, testing, rating and many more. Both businesses are still running and bringing home profits. Dennis has also started selling his merchandise under the name Coffee Walk. He and his family are doing better day by day. These kinds of tragedies cannot be recovered in days. All the strength to him and his family. What are your thoughts on Dennis Collins? Do you want his comeback to the TV industry? Let us know in the comments below and if you like this video do let us know by dropping a like and hit that subscribe button to make sure that you get all such videos.